Hello everyone. In this video, let us discuss about intercostal veins and intercostal nerves. First, let us look at intercostal veins. Same as the arteries, in the veins, we have posterior intercostal veins and anterior intercostal veins. Anterior intercostal veins accompanies the arteries. Now, let us discuss about them. We have superior epigastric vein, this is superior epigastric vein and the musculophrenic vein. This superior epigastric vein and musculophrenic vein combine together to form the internal thoracic vein. The veins in the intercostal spaces that is 7, 8, 9 drain into the musculophrenic vein and the 1 to 6 intercostal spaces drain into the internal thoracic vein. This internal thoracic vein drains into the brachiocephalic vein. Now let us look at them in the diagram. Look at this here. This is the superior epigastric vein and this is the musculophrenic vein. These two combine together to form the internal thoracic vein. This is the internal thoracic vein here and this internal thoracic vein drains into the brachiocephalic vein. This is the brachiocephalic vein. And that's all about the inter anterior intercostal veins. Now let us look at the posterior intercostal veins in detail. We have the right brachiocephalic vein and we have the left brachiocephalic vein. This right and left brachiocephalic veins combine together to form the superior vena cava. This is the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava brings all the structures above the diaphragm except heart and lungs. Except heart and lungs, the superior vena cava drains all the structures present above the diaphragm. We have the azygous system to drain the posterior intercostal spaces. Now let us look at this azygous system in detail. As we see here, this is the right brachiocephalic vein, this is the left brachiocephalic vein and these together combine to form the superior vena cava. This is superior vena cava. We have the azygous vein. This is the azygous vein here. Azygous means unpaved. This azygous vein is unpaved. This is present right side. To the left, we have accessory hemiazygous vein. This is the accessory hemiazygous vein. And this is the hemiazygous vein. We have two veins on the left side. They are accessory hemiazygous vein and hemiazygous vein. Let us draw our own diagram and discuss this system in a very detailed manner. As we already discussed, the right brachiocephalic vein and the left brachiocephalic vein. These two combine together to form the superior vena cava. This we have into the superior vena cava, the azygous vein is drained. This is the azygous vein. On the left side, as we already saw, we have the accessory hemiazygous vein. This is the accessory hemiazygous vein. We also have hemiazygous vein. This is hemiazygous vein. As usually, we have the first intercostal vein that First intercostal vein drains into the brachiocephalic vein. This second, third and fourth intercostal veins combine together to form the superior intercostal vein. This superior intercostal vein drains into the azygous vein. All the remaining veins in the intercostal spaces drains into the azygous vein. This is on the right side. Now let us discuss about the left side. Here, the first intercostal vein drains into the left brachiocephalic vein, same as the right side. The second, the third and the fourth intercostal veins combine together to form the superior intercostal vein. This left superior intercostal vein also drains into brachiocephalic vein. Most important point here. On the left side, the second, third and fourth intercostal veins combine together to form the left superior intercostal vein. 
This left superior intercostal vein drains into the left brachiocephalic vein, and the remaining fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth drains into the accessory hemiazygous vein, and in the ninth, tenth, and eleventh drains into the hemiazygous vein. And we also have the subcostal veins below the twelfth thread. This is the subcostal vein. On the right side, this drains into the azygous vein. On the left side, this subcostal vein drains into the hemiazygous vein. Now let us discuss about the formation of azygous vein. Azygous vein is formed by the right subcostal vein and the right lumbar ascending vein and the right lumbar azygous vein. That's all about the venous system. Now let us discuss about the intercostal nerves. We have 12 pairs of intercostal nerves. These 12 pairs of intercostal nerves are divided into two types. They are typical intercostal nerves and atypical intercostal nerves. Typical intercostal nerves are T3, T4, T5 and T6. And remaining are atypical intercostal nerves. They are T1, T2, T7, T8, T9, T10, and T11, and T12. T12 is the subcostal nerve. They are called as typical nerves because typical nerves should only supply to the intercostal space. This supplies only to the intercostal space, not to any other organs. That is why these are called as typical intercostal nerves. Now let us discuss about atypical intercostal nerves. T1 intercostal nerve supplies to the intercostal space also contribute to the brachial plexus. T2 intercostal nerve is also called as intercostal brachial nerve as it also supplies to the upper limb. T7 to T11 intercostal nerves also supplies to the abdominal wall. T12 intercostal nerve also supplies to the abdominal wall, also the skin on the buttocks. That's all about the typical intercostal nerves. These intercostal nerves gives rise to the lateral cutaneous branch. This is the lateral cutaneous branch here and also the anterior cutaneous branch. This is the anterior cutaneous branch. Anterior and lateral cutaneous branches supplies thorax and abdominal walls. They also give rise to muscular branches as they supply to the muscles of thoracic wall. And they also give rise to the posterior ramus. This is the posterior ramus. Posterior rami runs posteriorly and supplies to joints, the back muscles and the skin of posterior thoracic region. As we see in the diagram, this lateral cutaneous branch pierces the two muscles. They are external intercostal muscle and internal intercostal muscle. And the anterior cutaneous branch pierces internal intercostal muscle and external intercostal membrane and that's all about the video if you like the content please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please do comment down in the comment section below thank you for watching